So hi, I'm Owen and I'm going to do a quick video review of this, an ESP32 based Gerbil controller. I bought it from the maker Bart Dring, BD Ring, from Tindy directly. It's quite nice, it's connected to three stepper motors which have some magnets stuck on them which in turn trigger three end, Hall end effects sensors which are powered from the board itself. I've got a oscilloscope hooked up to the spindle. It's powered at 12 volts from this supply. I've got a Raspberry Pi here which I'm going to be using to demo it. The final system will be 24 volts and it will be running this big laser cutter rig when it's built. And so what I want to do is power it up and just quickly demo the user interface and the movement. The board itself is very nicely made by the way. I, it was well packaged, arrived quickly and everything was great. The ESP32 controller is courtesy of AliExpress. Arrived. Uh -huh. It got to the Netherlands very quickly and then took five days thanks to our local post service, but there you go. Um, I've got LV7829 controllers on this set to 32, no, 64 micro steps. I might want to lower that for the final system. It's booted up. It should be on the network now, so let's see. This should work. Reload. Oh, yes. So here we go. See if I can get it on the screen properly. There we go. Connected now. I can log in. The default is admin, and the password is admin. And wait a little bit. Bingo! Into the login screen. Now, even on the tiny screen of the Pi, this is very usable on a mobile phone on um, a laptop it becomes a multi it becomes a multi pane thing and is very good and uh, here's the primary controller quick overview from here i don't have a camera you do have gerbil control Go down here reload it i want to double check the value of dollar 32 which is laser mode yes it's set to on that's important it'll fail to run the g-code file i've got otherwise go back to the dashboard and i want the main controller so from here i can home this so let's give it a go it's homing the z-axis bingo now it homes the x and the y together lovely dovely then i can jog i'm just going to move the axes a little bit around i can then go back and declare that as a zero point Let's try to get an angle on the screen, yes, here. A little bit unobvious at first, but that's declared zero. Now, I want to run a G-code file just to check. Oh, I'm going to turn this on. Otherwise, you won't see progress on the G-code file appearing automatically. Those are my overrides. Down here, we have SD files. I've got an SD card. Apologies for the poor video quality. I've got an SD card fitted, so if I refresh it comes up. I can filter everything except the G-code with that, and I can press run. And it's running through what is a very simple laser cut here. I mean, obviously it's not really doing anything, but everything looks good. If I go back over to the display, and scroll up a bit here we go we've got a progress indicator if you look at the um, oscilloscope you can see the PWM happening for the laser and everything's moving it's all really really cool so 
Um, I'm pretty happy with the board. It does exactly what it says on the box and uh, thoroughly glad to recommend it to people. I'll put links to everything below, of course, and I wish you all a very fine Christmas.